Lord Yal, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me. Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulcate do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Bless him. Will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, and with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Avon. Stay out. I will meet you with a poem in praise of the man. A new composition of my own. Where? Where is Sigurd gone? about this land, my friend. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I 
see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Day. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. Asim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful. Introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed, but who can say for certain? Indeed. A 
I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my... I should go... I want to see... Ithram received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hit, yes, as a w if I have received your yes. as a way if I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God and then recite this phrase When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Power, where hawk shit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. <laughs> Go, sooner. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby, or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Even the mighty fall, and God's servant, the Bishop Aylfer, was mighty indeed in defense of God. He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. So a gentle wash brings them closer to their god. To keep safe his memory, 
requiem eternam dona The god brings them light, just as Baldur does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. Thou art weighed in the balances, and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. Speak his story, in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle, and all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that your God fears death just as mine do, just as every man does. Yet through our Lord, we may achieve life everlasting in his glorious presence. Perhaps you missed that detail. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. 
Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor. Compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. Winchester mourns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. May he find his peace with God. <gasps> that Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Alfred's man. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. <gasps> shut your mouth, yeah? Unless you want yours to rot off in the keep. Goodwin gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown on the fire, Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence? I am where you are. Give me up here, Jason! 
Paradise where you're going! By God's hairy balls, you are a thief! <laughs> Give me the jewel out of commission! <laughs> Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. I should be cautious around here. Show me.
Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Never a dull moment. Evidence against the Order of Ancients stolen from Goodwin? in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let's go, before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Together, lads, we have this.
We have the advantage. Your corpse. I see you, little mice. Hey, Dallas! I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored reef. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wields words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Help! What? 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 Help! What?